I want you to see how far this is. This is like a oh, city right block. Now. Still running. This is crazy. Can you see us? We lost the camera guy in the forest. There is a tree growing out yes. of the table. Hey guys, I'm Ray Parisi with CNBC and we are on Fifth Avenue in New York City here to check out a $50 million duplex penthouse with six bedrooms, seven and a half baths, and a giant secret garden that unfolds over two floors and more than 5,000 square feet. Let's go upstairs and check it out. Here comes drum roll. Wow, I love an elevator that opens up into the penthouse. And what a penthouse to open up into. This is Leighton Candler. She is a super broker who has been hired to sell this penthouse for... $50 million. $50 million. These are the top two floors of 995. Wow, 995 Fifth Avenue, top two floors. That's some serious uh, pedigree address. It's a very pedigree address. We've got over 5,000 square feet inside on two floors, but we do have family here now. So we won't be going into any of the bedrooms, but- This is fascinating. I know. So there are people here yeah. in six bedrooms. But the fun part is that- Is we, this room. <laughs> which is colorful. I love the color of the sofa. It's fabulous. Um, we are gonna go out there. That's really the grand finale, but we're gonna sneak into this room because we're allowed to. Yes, because we are allowed to go into this room. And this has a wonderful little library. It might look like wallpaper, but this is all, all the walls that you saw that were super colorful yeah. are upholstered, so they're um, soft, nice fabric. Let's go out to the balcony now. We can take our shoes off and act like we're already in the Hamptons. Cool. Let's all do right. it. All I'm right. up for it. And of course, the biggest yard of all, Central this, Park. This is crazy. Isn't it fantastic? And this is, you said 7,000 square feet, so this is a small fraction of it. Fraction. We'll see the big, big terraces upstairs for dining, and then there's relaxing terraces, there's terraces of hydra shaded with hydrangeas. Let's go see that, let's go that way. I love these uh, boxwoods, so someone comes up here and-, and Trims everything. Is there, All the are there time. landscapers in Manhattan? Yes, and then, you're not gonna believe, you can see all the way back, look at these birch trees. They're so tall that you can see them from the second floor, you're at your own tree. And there are strawberries. Strawberries! Yes, and they do pick the strawberries. Little, tiny strawberries. Can you eat them? Yeah. Mmm, that was really sweet. Let's Could, let the camera guy go further back so you can really get a sense of, go way, way back. So you can get a sense of like where we're coming from and how far we have to go. And then there's more. And we'll come to you. Yeah. We'll come to you. We're going to him now. Okay. So these are all bedrooms the be that all you can walk out onto the balcony. Yes. All the six bedrooms open on to the outside. That's why it's this incredible inside to outside apartment. And every bedroom but one has a is onto the terrace. But look this at this. Is nice. Is this amazing? Yeah. I know. It's, so it's peaceful. We are on Fifth Avenue. Yeah. I mean, and you're a good three and a half, four hours with traffic from the Hamptons, and <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably sell my Hamptons house. I don't know about you. This is our smallest listing, but in order to buy this house, you, you have to you you buy two the- houses for yeah, 50 million. You actually buy the 14,000 square feet of inside and outside that's attached to this house. Birds in Manhattan have two stories for their bird houses. <laughs> I want you to see how far this is. This is like a no, city Ray, block. No. Can you see me? <laughs> Still running. Still running. Lost my microphone. And a little yeah. Stairmaster. And we need Mike. Mike. And then, and then you do the Stairmaster. After you. Madison Cox, who is one of the foremost landscape designers of this generation, and he is now retired. This was one of his tour de force last gardens he did. Everything smells amazing. Yes. Too bad it's not smell -o vision And now this is the only sort of place in New York where you have to think about bumblebees. Yes. <laughs> As they lunge. Because they are, and it's nice they have a place to stop in New York. Can you believe this is someone's private home? This isn't great. I like that there's a place to stop in case yeah. you're exhausted I, from your. <laughs> I, uh, I am slightly exhausted. Um, I think we can pull the awning out. Take a look back at this because it's so beautiful. These are all custom sort of flower boxes yes, up here. Yes, all built for here. We're still in the rose garden. Another so, trellis. And these are beautiful specimen trees, these maples. 
So they give fabulous dinner parties here. Which is a butterfly the, just the Yes, butterfly. it was a butterfly that just <laughs> went. <laughs> so here you can have the, so big dinner parties. So you don't have to go to the Hamptons for your dinner party. If only there was some rosé. These are the treetops from the lower level. You see the treetops of Central Park and your own treetops. It's amazing. The one nice thing is that you do have cutting gardens and you also have the uh, kitchen garden, so you, you're completely self-sustaining here. So right now, to get to the other garden, we have to pass through a bedroom, which is off limits. So we're gonna shut the camera down briefly and we'll be right back on the other side of this bedroom. Camera off. Can you see us? We lost <laughs> the camera guy in the forest. Where's Waldo? So this is the hydrangea garden, I presume. Yes, and it's a nice, quiet place, because most places have one big terrace and everyone's on it together. And here you have all these different places. And there's two main bedrooms, one upstairs, and we passed that. I there is a tree growing yes. out of the table. And it's a cherry. Layton, try to pull that chair out. They're heavy. <laughs> I know, I've done it. They're I heavy. Was, I was walking around the thing, and I <laughs> went to move the chair. It's what, it's like stone. They're, they're stone. They're stone chairs and they're really heavy. Um, these are incredible. They're PG, they don't smell, but they're PG hydrangea. So you have apple trees here and you have apples and figs. You and have to spin around and see. We saw the strawberry field uh, yeah. on top of Central Park. Now there's an apple orchard. Yes, and we're obviously not quite at apple season yet, but if you come back in the fall, you'll see the leaves change and you'll be able to pick apples. By the way, the bedroom we passed through was actually really nice. <laughs> I'm sort of sad that you can't see it. Actually, we'll show you pictures of the bedroom. We just can't take video of it. Camera off. Okay, now, Ray, I know that you're a fabulous chef. So you would spend a lot of time here and you can probably identify the things better. I can identify tomatoes for sure. Yeah, and basil. Basil. And there's all different kinds. This is, there's three different kinds of basil. There's and thyme back here. Oregano. You have pears up here. Wow. And then we go into apples again? Yeah, and we've got sage and everything. Lemongrass, and chard. And pigs. Look at how big these are. And we have grapes. Penthouse vintage. I mean, so $50 million is a lot of money, but there's a lot of space in there. There's a ton of space out here. And what you would save on fresh groceries, <laughs> you could probably. <laughs> yes, you can. You can. We subsidize the price of the place. It's just, I mean, it's fantastic. And it's really rare to find a place up in this neighborhood that is this large, has this many bedrooms, and that much separate space. And then if you get bored in your secret garden, you're across the street from Central Park. Yes. That's not bad. No, that's pretty fantastic. Thank you so much for I've had here. such a good time. I love this. Me too.